uh, marriage equality. Uh, so uh, Biden passed the marriage equality, uh, signed the marriage equality act. Twelve Republicans uh, voted for the marriage equality act. Uh, so it was, uh, uh, you know, good for them. Uh, uh, many of the Republicans, or some of the Republicans who signed it, were Republicans that are not running for re-election, I guess. But it, it's pretty bleak that the Republican Party, again, marginalizing itself and putting itself in a position not to win elections, um, is uh, is uh, behind the curve here, historically, in, 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 with regard to history. Uh, the fact is that American people overwhelmingly uh, support uh, gay marriage, and uh, and it's the right position to have. The American people support overwhelmingly a lot of bad things, but in this case, they're right about it. Um, it but but one of the truly despicable things that were put into this bill, I mean, it's good that it were put into it, but it's despicable that it needed to be put into it because of fear that the Supreme Court might overturn this is the, uh, the, uh, the, the protection for uh, interracial marriages. That is, there are people out there who fear, and maybe legitimately, and, and maybe, and this is because of, of a, a line by Thomas in, in, in Hobbes, that maybe the Supreme Court would rule constitutional states saying that interracial marriage is illegal. And I can't imagine a state doing that but who knows? So now it's federal law that uh, interracial marriage is legal. <laughs> and can you imagine that you need that in legislation, in federal legislation? It's, it's just, it, I mean, it's a consequence of, of Jim Crow, but it is stunning that uh, we believe that that kind of racism still exists in this, ma in this country, where in some countries, um, uh, you know, we think that in some uh, uh, states, we think that they might pass anti, uh, uh, you know, mixed marriages. Mind boggling, mind boggling. Anyway, I I'm glad to see this bill pass. I'm glad to have seen 12 Republicans vote for it. I wish 50 Republicans had voted for it. I'm glad Biden signed it. I'm glad, I mean, I don't think the Supreme Court will rule it unconstitutional. I think that basically solidifies and finalizes the idea that uh, gay marriage is a done deal. And uh, the only way to, uh, uh, you know, the Supreme Court would invalidate it is by claiming it's an issue for um, federalism. It's an issue for state, uh, for state government. But I don't think they will. I don't think there's any chance they will. They, 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 they seem to, they seem to um, revert to whatever Congress wants. And rarely do they overturn an actual bill that Congress passed. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support or go to Patreon, Subscribestar, Locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.